Barb Weersma, how are you? Are you still in Calspell? Or back in Calspell? Last time I saw you, you were in Costa Rica. Pura Vida. And uh, before that, back in Grand Rapids. And back before that, in Dania. Spain, España. We had a. I thought we had something going for a while, but. You wanted more immediately. And I said, wait. I said, I don't know where my career is going. I mean, even if I got married, what would we do? Besides have a good, loving, physical, emotional relationship, which is great. But, as they say, you know, marriage is rise and fall on finances. And I didn't know what I was going to be doing as a career. I didn't have any financial savings or anything like that to rely upon. So I was concerned about that. Otherwise, I would have made a commitment. I wasn't just using you. Later, I wondered if you were using me, to tell you the truth. Because once I said, well, I'm not sure, or I, didn't, I didn't make a marriage commitment to you, you took off. Then I saw you in Costa Rica, and you I, and you looked at me as if you didn't even know me, or somebody that you used to know, as they say. It was very, very cold. I felt hurt by that. Truly, I did. And I actually drove through Calspell one time. I looked up your folks' address. I left a Bible there. I put a pocket Bible on a tractor, on a uh, tractor seat. I recall correctly, there were some miniature horses there. Drove around Calspell and went into one of the grocery stores. Nice little town, I like it. And I lived in uh, uh, Jackson, Wyoming for two summers, not far from Montana. So, my dearest one, and I know you're married now, this is not some kind of attempt to me. I hope you're still married, unless you got divorced, I don't know. Those things do happen. As far as I could tell, just from online searches and this and that, you married a Costa Rican guy and you came back to Calspell. Maybe we're uh, cleaning windows as a job. You and your husband, maybe you had your own window cleaning service, something like that. I'm in Redondo Beach, Torrance, in uh, Palos Verdes, Los Angeles, Southern California, in November uh, 10. I eventually uh, did some mission work. I went to, you know, you had, you saw me in Costa Rica. I was there for a disaster relief for the CRC, Christian Church, after that 91 earthquake. Drove all around the country to the affected areas and did needs assessment and then uh, sent out things they could have to help them, food and water and various other things. And then I eventually, uh, I stayed in Costa Rica after that, went down south to the Osa Peninsula and taught school for a while in Drake Bay. Bahia Draque, Osa Peninsula, Corcovado National Park, Virgin Rainforest, a lot of tourists come there. I, I got a little tutoring job for a tourist camp there. I uh, also helped uh, lead a few tour trips, tourist trips. I was there when the uh, solar eclipse came. And by the way, I uh, appreciated the hospitality of Janet Ludema. She was there uh, when I was there and stayed at her house for a few days, actually. Missionary house that she was house-sitting. And um, after Costa Rica, I came back to the States, got some more education, did, a mission, did some mission work in the Philippines, did a little bit in China and Hong Kong. Came back to the U.S., did some more education, another bachelor's degree, taught school in uh, California, public school. And then I uh, went to my real calling. I went to seminary, got my Master in Divinity, and kept working on uh, evangelism and mission work, and started my own ministry, Mustard Seed Ministries. I'm doing my best to tell the good news of Jesus Christ around the world, mostly around uh, 
Southern California, but also other parts of the country and, and world every now and then. Physically and also online. A lot online. I do a lot of ministry blogging and reaching out to others online. I just want to say hello and hope all is well. I hope you've forgiven me. We need to all forgive and forget. We were all young and not very smart. Didn't know where life was going. But we don't hold grudges. We shouldn't hold grudges. So that's my prayer and that's my greetings. God bless you.